called the illegal pitch. That seemed to be the only thing they had to go on. They being the umpires or minors? No, not, minors. not the umpires. The umpires don't call it on their own. They only call it when the whole entire stadium from the other side is yelling it. So that's, that's how that goes. Offensively, you had uh, a chance in the third inning came up with just the one run, look back at that and kind of say that was a missed opportunity to get a little bit more? Or? Um, of course, it was, you know, it, we certainly needed to get more hits. That, that was the long and the short of it, so more hits, more runs, who knows? These, uh, the senior class have been kind of the, the standard bearers for you. Do you have a special message for them or uh, say you know, anything before the game? Now you're going to make me cry because <laughs> <laughs> I... I'm gonna miss all three of those girls, and I wish that we could have won this for them because they they deserved it, and that's all. Coach, that had to be disheartening. Whenever uh, with the first illegal pitch, you get the girl out on a pop up, she goes back in the batter's box and hits a home run to tie the game. I mean, right. that, that's got to be a momentum changer there. Um, it definitely is. Uh, I think in general, when you're pitcher is not only being called for an illegal pitch by an umpire, but is being heckled by the entire stands every time she throws a ball. It makes it a little difficult to throw strikes, but McKenna is a great pitcher, and she works through that. So, Throughout all of this, whether it's been you know, here in the semifinals, um, even you know the disappointment of the Wicklow Championship game, it seems like they've found a way to stay up, or stay upbeat. Yeah, they're a great group of girls. That's that's all it is. They they love to play softball, and that's just what they do. Thank you. Coach. Thanks. Thank you, Coach. Coach, thank you. Thanks, Amy. I'm going to try and catch up with a couple Okay, of thank you. I was talking to McKenna there. Obviously, they asked you because it came in at the end about the illegal pitches. Any opinion on that? I, I mean, I know you didn't argue them. Or um, it's not even worth arguing them every time we've tried to argue them. Um, it's funny, you get umpires who go either one way or another. One umpire will tell a coach, we're not calling that, that's not a legal pitch. And then another umpire will be like, oh sure, I'll call it all day long. So that's just what happens. And you just go with that and you work through it. And that's what we've told McKenna. I mean, when you're talking about three games in a whole entire season, of a lot more than three games. She's never been called. So you mean there were three games this year? Was that, that was it. That was the, mm -hmm. the legal pitches were called on mm -hmm. it. Two against Chartreuse Houston and today. Two games against Chartreuse, or mm -hmm. two legal pitches? Against two games okay. against Chartreuse Houston. Okay. The one actually, the first game against Chartreuse Houston where McKenna pitched, the umpires told her they weren't going to call the illegal pitch because it was not an illegal pitch. Then all of a sudden, Two weeks later, there it is. It's illegal. I think they need to maybe train the umpires a little bit better. Pardon the ignorance, but what she said the one first one was about. No, mm -hmm. her, um, apparently, yeah. her hands were not apart when right. she was taking or simulating taking right. calls from the right. yeah. catcher. But the other ones were. Gross. Not really sure. I don't even bother to ask. She thought, I guess she did. We're saying she's crow hopping. I have no idea. It doesn't. It doesn't do any good to ask that they're not going to change their calls. So, just a waste of time. Affect, I mean, you have to deal with that constantly through the game. I mean, one of them caused a home run. Uh, mm -hmm. How did that affect her? Um, or this well, game, actually. I mean, of course it affects her. Obviously, it affects the game. Um, you know, without that illegal pitch, you you may not have that home run. It, 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 <laughs> the whole entire fan base chanting crow hop every time she pitches a ball that you know it really is truly just poor sportsmanship and that's all it is so i mean it, we play softball not technicalities so it'd be great if other people just played softball too <laughs> you um you, you you score first yes uh, which was probably big against teams and so many championships did you feel in a good spot? I mean, you weren't overpower, uh, overpowered by her. You had eight hits. Oh, absolutely not. Um, no, it really is. It, I mean, it comes down to just, you know, they had four extra players on their team, and one in particular who had a lot of 
pool. Yeah. yeah. That's about it. That's all I can say. That's. You about the home run? I'm talking about the four extra players that stand around the field oh. and <laughs> and okay. contribute in some way or another. And you know, without them, you, you know, you come play a backyard game. Who knows what happened? I mean, but did you feel you hit the ball? I mean, you absolutely, we hit the ball. We didn't have any problem with their pitcher. She's not any better than any pitcher we've ever seen. In fact, in our section, we've seen other better pitchers. So, you know, we, we were in a very tough section. We had a lot of good pitchers we faced. So. Is, um, you only had 10 dressed today. I understand two didn't come back recently. Right. Okay. So you've had 12. Uh, we started the season with 12. We ended okay. the season with 10. Okay. Mm-hmm. Such a small roster, a remarkable run, really. Was it? Oh, absolutely. You know what? And I, I mean, to just to be here was amazing. Amazing for the girls. Amazing for the team. Just amazing for the school. Just all over the place. So, I mean, they're a great group of girls. They love softball, and you know, yeah. and they they had a really great run.